it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do a special segment for everybody uh, for three months from now. So I'm going to do a reading three months from now. This is going to be for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you, if this is for your Sun sign, your Moon sign, your Rising sign, or your Venus sign, if, if any of those falls in the sign of Taurus, then this reading may or may not be for you. What can we expect three months from now? So three months from the time that you watch it, okay? So what can we expect three months from now for the month, for the sign of Taurus. We're going to start right here. Three months from now. So we're talking July, mid July, end of June, beginning of July. July, perhaps. This is just a timing is fluid. So from now until then, okay? Three months from now, Taurus. Three months. Power. Now this is a strength card. So you're going to be probably very powerful in three months from now. Stronger. Stronger than you were. You may be enjoying your power. You may be in a better health. You may be um, able to master your emotions quite well. Now, this is fearless. This is fearless. Three months from now, this is a state of calmness, a state of grace. So this is, um, well, it's Beauty and the Beast. I mean, that's what I just saw was Beauty and the Beast. So whatever that means. So you're going to be in a very powerful spot. We're going to go with this. No. Yes. No. We're going to go with this. So you're going to be in a very powerful position, okay, three months from now. Two of coins, okay? Two of coins. So it looks as though you're probably going to have a lot of demands. You may be feeling overwhelmed. Everybody may be pointing their finger at you. you they may be like, me, next. Uh, they may be saying your name. Hey, hey, come over here. Come over here. i got to show you this. Can I get this? Can I get that? You know, um, it looks as though you're going to be having a lot on your plate. Okay? Things may be see, uh, seeming a little chaotic in three months from now. You may be traveling. You may be traveling. It looks like, the, I mean, this is dining out. Dining out, um, you may be being served. I'm not sure which one of these people is you, but I feel like um, maybe you're traveling. You may be traveling someplace. Um, you're definitely, and then now you see there's change here. Two, two of coins is a card of change. So you're going to be in a circumstances, you're going to be in a circumstance uh, where well, your life has completely changed. So in three months from now, you're going to, I mean, look at, there's people everywhere. So this is like in a restaurant. Okay. So you may be going into a restaurant with somebody. Looks like we have a partnership here. Um, twos are about partnerships as well. You may be, you may be going out to dinner with somebody, um, being waited on. You're going to be being waited on by the looks of things. Um, Hmm. Interesting. Now, let's see what we got. Three months from now. Couple of cards for Taurus. There's a few. We're going to take them. They fell out. We got to take them. What do we got for Taurus three months from now? Vulture. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. You may be worried about that. Coins, money will be coming to you. Money will be coming to you. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. That's real nice. Woman, 
dealings or relationship with a woman. There could be a woman. You're getting money from a woman, perhaps. Hmm. Wishbone. A wish will be granted. So, Taurus, a wish is going to be granted for you. It is. You may be worried, though. You may be worried that you're not going to get something. Maybe that you deserve. You are going to get it. You are going. You're going to get exactly what you asked for. Put it that way. You are. So you're going to get it. You're going to get something. There's. You are. You're going to be in a very, very powerful position. You, it feels like you're going to be something to do with money as well. There may be an increase in money. Something like that. So what do we have for Taurus three months from now? Sun. Sun reversed. Not happy about a situation. Lack of growth. Ooh. We got a king of cups here. So this is this is emotional. We have somebody here that has shut down emotionally. This person may not be happy. They may not be happy. This is um, a loss of fertility, a loss of growth, um, a negative situation. Sad. Somebody is sad. I don't, I don't know who this person is, but this is a, this is sadness. This is emotional shutdown. This is somebody that is withdrawn, doesn't have good intentions. You got to be careful for this individual. They're not emotionally available. Ooh, four of wands reversed. Now this is uh, it's cleanup time. It is cleanup. I mean, this is a messy situation here. Taurus, I don't know what the hell is going on, but you may be in a sad situation with or commitment with somebody that doesn't love you. And I'm sorry, I'm a Taurus, but uh, it doesn't look good. Okay, um, I can't pretend that it does. This is, uh, I don't know if there's going to be a breakup. There could be relationship problems. It looks like there's some sort of relationship problems here. Broken, a broken marriage. This is a broken marriage. So, I mean, I'm not going to pretend. I don't care. I'm not. Things, life is constantly changing. Okay? It's constantly changing. So there is going to be a change. There is absolutely going to be a change. In three months from now, you may be in a completely different place. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> you should be able to accept valid criticism. Who wants to hear it? I don't. Nobody does. Uh, you may be dealing with somebody who criticizes you quite a bit. Just saying. Um, and it's hard. It's hard. And, and So anyway, you're going to be gaining some sort of strength. And this, you may need to be brave. You may need to be brave. So you're going to be gaining strength. You are. Life is about to change. There's no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. Um, money is going to be coming to you. You are dealing with a woman. Hmm. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Now, this is an opportunity for love. This is a new love. This is beautiful. So, hmm. There's a big opportunity for love here. There is. But you are stuck. You are trapped, mentally trapped in, or in a situation that doesn't really serve you. So somebody is in a situation that they are tied to. They are stuck in. Somebody isn't seeing a situation. Clearly, they're not speaking up for themselves. They're being held back. So we have somebody here that is being held back. And they, I don't know if they're... They're being held back by a sad situation, obviously. There's an opportunity for love for this person that is being held back. Emotional support is coming in for this person that has been uh, fearful. This person has been fearful. This person has been allowed themselves to be... Uh, it feels like belittled. It feels like we have somebody here that has been belittled. This person has been abused. 
So we have this person that has been abused. Well, emotional support is coming in for this person that has been um, stuck in this desperate situation, confined. So help is arriving. Now, there's this this guy, this person right here is does not have good intentions. It doesn't have any intentions of com committing. Ooh, nine of cups reverse very dissatisfied lack of wish fulfillment we have somebody here that has a big ego that wants to have it all but doesn't want to commit oh my goodness but now we got this this devil right here we have this devil it's a capricorn Six of Cups Reverse. Now, the Six of Cups Reverse is freedom from obligation. Somebody is being freed from their obligations. They have been tied to a toxic, unhealthy situation. They have. This could be self-love. We could have somebody here that hasn't loved. This is heart. So they, there's been a lack of self-love. But this, and they've been staying in a very toxic situation. We have, and I think... You know, we have somebody that has been in a toxic, unhealthy situation with somebody that doesn't love them. And they have chosen to stay, chosen to stay in that situation because uh, it's almost like they don't want to be alone. You know, this is very unhealthy, very unhealthy. It is. So we have a very unhealthy situation that is going to change. It is going to change. This person um, is really not happy. And it looks like they're giving up. They're giving up on the commitment. It's like they're protecting themselves. They really don't want to be in a commitment. It's been messy. It's been messy for a while. Maybe for the last nine months to a year. It's been getting worse and worse and worse and worse. More toxic as every day passes. So we have this person who has been trapped, you know, holding on, clinging to it, clinging to the good times. At one, at the beginning, you know, there was love. At the beginning, there was this person, uh, you know, at the beginning, all they can, it's like all I can think about is the love, is and it was total, total illusion, illusion of love. It was fantasy. So somebody is in love with the illusion of love because this is a shadow. All is not as it seems. It feels like, Taurus, you are dealing with a person that is no longer in love, but they, pre they projected themselves to be in love. I think it was at the beginning. They did, but they weren't really w wanting a commitment of some sort. There could be a, 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 I mean, this is a broken marriage, okay, a broken marriage. And it's, and this could, this, this thing, this marriage or this commitment could be breaking apart out of self-love. The biggest love of all is self-love. When you can love yourself more than anybody else, and you can call that ego, but it's not. That is the that is the the biggest. It's, I think Whitney Houston has a song about it. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but anyhow, I'm gonna I'll find it and I'll tape it. I mean, I'll tag it underneath. But this is definitely about self love. There's been a lack of growth in a relationship. It's not growing. There's no more passion. There isn't. There's no more heat, right? There's no more passion. So I feel like it was, I think the whole relationship may have been, you know, it started out as very passionate, but now the passion has died. Now somebody is trapped. They are trapped. But this is freedom from obligation, packing up and leaving home. Somebody is packing up and leaving home. Nothing stays the same. Now, I don't, there's, and maybe could have something to do with children here. I'm not sure. Somebody may have been staying for the children, But this is too toxic. It's unhealthy. There's a lot of materialistic issues here. We have somebody here that is very materialistic, very greedy, very egotistical. And their ego has kept them trapped, kept them stuck, keep them, kept them tied to this situation. So in three months from now... Whew. 
Oh, somebody may end up getting blocked. There is going to be a split. There is going to be a split. There is. Somebody has been avoiding the challenge. They've been a, they've been uh, blocking their true emotions. They've been shutting down emotionally for quite some time, and it's like all of a sudden they get some sort of of uh, well, it could be emotional support or some sort. It could be a very emotional time. This is a flood of emotion. All of a sudden, they things get too emotional, or they get too. They start crying. Somebody could start crying, or they just start to feel differently because this is feelings. Ace of Cups is the biggest feelings of them all, so it is. So somebody gets some sort of uh, emotional uh, overload or something like that, that that causes them to break free. Seriously, okay. So, but this is, this, somebody have been blocking the truth. They've been ignoring, definitely, mask here, mask here. Somebody has been ignoring the truth, choosing not to see the truth, choosing not to accept the truth. But this relationship, this partnership, there's going to be a split. So somebody is splitting up. I'm sorry. There is a split here. There's a breakup. And I think there's a secret that is about to be revealed. You may be de de having, the, we have the initials J and B or B and J. Or the, those are in the name. Those letters are in the name. I feel as though somebody is coming clean or they're coming out. They're not going to hide their feelings anymore. It's like all of, all of a sudden they know instead of keeping it to themselves, instead of being quiet. Okay, somebody has been ignoring their intuition. They've been ignoring their gut. They've been being taken advantage of. So we have somebody here that's been um, is deeply unsatisfied with their current commitment. And they've been lying about it. They haven't been telling the truth. But now with this two of, two of cups reverse, there could be a fight. Okay, there could be a fight. There's a partnership that is ending. There could be some abuse. There could be some bullying. There's a disconnection here. And with all these twos, twos are about taking the next step. It's about a choice. Two, 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 two. Lots of twos. So this is about partnership. So there is a partnership that is changing. It's too toxic. It's not healthy. So there's going to be some sort of breakup. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It's like you can't pretend. You can't pretend anymore. This is too much. It's overwhelming. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight. Um, somebody's been holding on just for the financial reasons. You know, uh, uh, seriously. Obsessed. Obsessed with the money that they were obtaining or obsessed with the status this is a we have a very greedy individual here very greedy you are dealing with somebody that is very very selfish and greedy you may be in love with this person you may be in love with this person but they don't love you i don't know if you're dealing with a leo but it doesn't have to be it could be a leo could be a capricorn could be a pisces could be a cancer could be a scorpio um, could be anybody, but I feel like we have somebody here that is finding their strength and their courage, obviously, to take back their power, and they're doing it out of self-love. They are. So I, I expect there to be a split for Tauruses, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bring you this message. But somebody is doing it out of self-value and self-love. I'm telling you what, it's like I'm going to take my power back. Somebody is taking their power away from somebody that is very greedy and selfish and uh, doesn't love them. And I think there's this is like a, uh, a split or moving out. Um, somebody may have been holding on, like I said, just for the children or, you know, it's, it's like they were using them for sex and money. There may be a Leo that is helping, a Leo that is coming to help. This person may be offering uh, emotional support. This person may be uh, giving somebody, maybe even the money. 
maybe helping give, giving somebody the money or funding the situation or just lending support being a friend there is also um, mastering of emotions with these two cards it's like yes it's going to be emotional but I think you're going to find the ability to master your emotions and hold your head high and be proud of who you are this is a very courageous act so we have somebody here that is finding the courage to break free from an unhealthy situation that has kept them tied down and trapped it's been very uncomfortable very uncomfortable so um, this is freedom from obligation somebody has been holding on for all the wrong reasons and now they're they're being uh, You know, this is packing up and leaving home. This is a very unhealthy situation. Uh, somebody could even end up going to jail. Somebody in your circle could end up going to jail or prison or something. We definitely have a selfish individual here. And they may have some sort of addictions. And their addictions could send them to rehab or send them to jail. So be prepared for your life to change. And for the power to be put in your hands in some way. You are going to feel the power. You're going to have the power. You're going to be in control. You're taking back your power. Three months from now, you are going to be in control. The power is definitely the power is going to be in your hands. This is extreme abundance as well. Okay, this is extreme abundance with these eights. This is this is limitless abundance right here. This is a very beautiful place to be in. So yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, you're going to be. Um, severing ties with a toxic partnership it's going to take a lot of strength and and perseverance but this partnership uh, built your character it may it's going to make you stronger in the end I feel like uh, you're gonna find your strength to break free so whatever this is somebody is breaking free from something there's been some secrets somebody has been keeping secrets they haven't been telling the truth it's it's clear and it feels like these tre secrets get revealed. These secrets are going to get revealed. Um, somebody wasn't all that they cracked up to be. They, they presented themselves to be uh, full of love, but that's not the case. So be prepared to... Uh, you may be moving. Some of you may be moving, traveling to to a new destination, like I said. Um, yeah. I you know. I can't think of anything else to say. Let's get one more of these to end it with. One more card for Taurus. In three months from now, there is a split. I can't pretend. I can't. There's, there is definitely a split. The Two of Cups reversed and the Four of Wands reversed. There's a split here. There's a split. And it's from a person that is not reciprocating in love. This person's abusive. They are greedy as hell. Um, one card to end this reading, please. Universe. This is the world card. This is ending. Okay, the world is a lesson learned. And this is travel. And this is moving to a new destination. Some of you are really moving. This is freedom. This is completing that chapter of your life. There is a significant situation in your life that is coming to an end. It is something that has taught you a life lesson. You are going to beginning a, be beginning a new chapter in three months. And it may do have something to do with moving or traveling and I think it's traveling with somebody else because it feels like we have new love here as well some of you are getting an offer of new love you may be uh, 
and finding your strength to start over in love. Anyway, get prepared to uh, deal with some emotions as you are separating from a toxic situation. Good luck.